In this video, I'm going to show you how you can fix the limited originality of content violation that you got on your Facebook page. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Lester Diaz and in this channel, we talk about making money online, affiliate marketing, social media marketing, and everything in between. So if you're new, consider subscribing. So I've been getting a ton of messages and comments on my videos from people asking for help to fix this violation on their Facebook page. The thing is, if you have one or more violations on your Facebook page, most likely you won't be able to monetize your videos. So a ton of Facebook pages have been getting hit with this violation specifically, which is called limited originality of content. And what this violation actually means is that you most likely share content that you do not own on your Facebook page. This could be pictures, this could be a video, this could be something that you most likely did not create and you share it on your Facebook page. Now this is a pretty common violation and I'm gonna show you how you can appeal this violation and hopefully get your monetization back. In fact, one of my Facebook pages was actually hit with this specific violation not too long ago and I was able to get it removed. I received a message from Facebook saying that the violation was actually lifted and I could get my monetization back. So I'm going to show you the three steps that you need to follow if you want to get your violation removed from your page and get your monetization back. Now before we jump into the video, if you want to learn how to build Facebook pages that can make you money online from your videos, then what I want you to do is click the link in the description below. It's going to take you to my Facebook Income School course where I offer over 40 videos that can teach you from beginning to end how to grow and monetize monetize Facebook pages and how you can find content to make money from videos on Facebook without getting any violations whatsoever. If you guys want to check it out, all you have to do is click the link in the description below. All right, so step number one is we're going to delete everything that we do not own from our Facebook page. So if you received this violation recently on your Facebook page over the past 15 to 30 days, then you need to go back to your Facebook page and delete all images and videos that you do not own. So that means you took that image from Google from another source or you took that video from another source. You did not edit that video or edit that image in any way. You simply just reposted that video or image directly to your Facebook page and that most likely resulted in that specific violation. So what you want to do is go back to your Facebook page and do a complete review over the past 15 to 30 days and just delete all the pictures and the videos that you posted that you did not own. Now you do not need to delete all your content on your Facebook page. Just try to go back and delete just the pictures and videos that you do not own that you simply took from another source and just repost it to your Facebook page. All right, so step number two is you're gonna take a screenshot of that specific violation for your Facebook page and you're going to add some text to that screenshot. Now this is something that has worked for me in the past multiple times for multiple violations because when you're actually appealing for that specific violation, Facebook doesn't allow you to add context to your appeal. So you have to be creative and find new ways to add more context on why you are actually appealing that violation. So let me give you an example of how I actually do this. What you're seeing right now is actually a screenshot of that specific violation that I got on my Facebook page. And as you can see, just below it, I added this text letting them know that all the content on my Facebook page was actually created by me and everything that I posted, I had permission to use with receipts. So what you do is you take this screenshot, you save it, you add that text, and then you submit this with your appeal. You're gonna find all your violations on the Creator Studio for that specific page. Then you go to monetization and then policy issues. This is where you're gonna see all the violations that you get for your Facebook pages. And the last step is step number three, which is to actually appeal for that violation. So you wanna to go to, again, policy issues. You're gonna click on request review. Once you do that, it's gonna take you to a form where you can submit your appeal. It's gonna ask you for your Facebook page, and then it's gonna ask you for specific content or your Facebook page. What you wanna do is simply enter the address of your Facebook page, your entire page for all your content, and then you're going to attach that specific screenshot that you saved with the text that we added, letting them know that we did not break the rules for this specific violation. Once you do this, you simply submit your appeal and it's gonna take most likely a day or two to get a reply back from Facebook. Now this is really important. Most likely it's going to take you multiple appeals to get your monetization back. So that means even if you don't get it the first time, 
do it again in a few days most likely you can go back and check and resubmit your appeal five to seven days later you can do the exact same thing and you do that until you can get your monetization back i can tell you from my personal experience that it usually takes me between two to three tries to get a violation removed so even if you don't get it that first time that you're appealing just keep trying maybe you know seven 14 days later keep trying doing the exact same process until you can get it back and this is exactly what i did to get that violation removed and as you can see i was able to get my monetization back i have no monetization issues and most likely if you did get this violation it's not mainly because you did something wrong but you could probably get it removed if you follow my steps with that said, thank you very much for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like button. It's really going to help me out, push this video to more people. And if you haven't subscribed, subscribe because I post videos like this every single week. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.